Governor Don Kachiri is trying to keep casino expansion off the November ballot. Today he vetoed a bill that would let voters decide whether to allow table games at both Twin River and Newport Grand. Eyewitness News reporter Nick Nwosu joins us now live with the details that are new at 5. Well, Mike, gaming is currently the third largest source of revenue for the Ocean State, and some say expanding casino gaming could mean hundreds of millions more for the struggling economy. But the governor says there needs to be more information before voters get a voice. Governor Don Kachiri rejected a bill that would allow voters to decide whether or not casino gaming is expanded in Rhode Island. We need to be competitive. We're going to have to be competitive. I don't think where we are right now is the right approach. And... Uh, and what I feel is always before we put it to the voters, we need to iron out the whole deal. The bill proposes expanding gaming at the state's two video lottery terminals, Twin River and Newport Grand. The House and Senate approved the bill and wanted the referendum on the ballot this November. Governor Kachiri tells us he is in favor of voter input, but he says the current bill leaves many questions unanswered. What's the percentage that we're going to get? See, right now, the 61 percent we get on the VLTs is in statute. There's nothing here. I have no idea. I'm very surprised and very disappointed. Patty Doyle, the spokesperson for Twin River, says if residents don't vote on the referendum this year, the state will lose tremendously, especially if Massachusetts approves casino gaming. If that happens, studies show Rhode Island could lose $100 million in revenue each year. 45 to 50 percent of the customers at Twin River come from Massachusetts right now, so if they have an option of going to a full casino versus one that is offering slots only, the likelihood is that they would choose the, uh, the one with the full casino game. The Senate could override the governor's veto. Still, voters may not get a chance to weigh in on the issue until November 2012. Nekanuosu, Eyewitness News.